Hello everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Coast and, and today we're heading over towards Flamingo Land which is one of my favourite theme parks in the UK and I am so excited to head here today. We're literally just getting into the entrance and we've been here once before but I'm so eager to be able to get in here and see what else there is to do at the park as last time we went as we were leaving, we actually noticed that it was a whole part of the park which we haven't done yet. So we're going to be seeing those are first time reactions as well as riding some iconic attractions like Velocity, Mumbo Jumbo and give me some tips and tricks along the way. But I'm also going to do Adam over here, Hello. my parents, as well as Jane's family who are in the car behind for this amazing day over here at Flamingo Land. Still not open guys, don't think I'm filming that because it's going to be opening today. No, no, that's not open yet. Anyway, that's even going to open to like 2032. Yeah, 2032. 2032, so hopefully we'll, 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 we'll be lucky if it opens in that year, even then. But Jaden, we're now with us and we're heading over to Bumbo Jumbo first. So are you excited to be down here at Flamingo Land? Yes, I actually uh, really am. Monorail. From Monorail, no, that's not opening either this year. Yeah, it's been shut for ages. This never operates. I don't know if it is open actually, but it never operates. Like a lot of them have rides here today. Really? Like, like, because they have a lack on staff, I believe. They have a lack on staff, so a lot of the rides will not be operated. But luckily, the main rides are open. So this is Mumbo Jumbo, which did actually say it was shut, and that's my favourite ride here. And it's pretty much one of my only rides here that I really enjoy, to be honest. And yeah, it's now going to be empty. So I'm very glad that I've seen testing. So yeah, it's my favourite ride here. So I'm also very looking when we jump boat. It's one of those rides where you don't really look at your first ride, but it's normally you don't want to rush over towards velocity. So being able to head over yeah, head to towards to Mumbo Jumbo, the back of the park really is a really good option at the start of the day if you want to get some quick rides done. Mumbo Jumbo, Mumbo Jumbo, Mumbo Jumbo, Mumbo Jumbo. Wow, really good yesterday. Here we go on Mumbo Jumbo. I am sorry you got a back row view. But Adam and Jay want to go fun. Hey, here we go. Love this ride. Absolutely love it. Okay, look at that view. Look at that view. Here we go. Here we go. And. And. Whoa! That is so steep. That is so steep. Oh, tang. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Woo! Woo! Hey! Oh, upside down, man! Oh! Oh! Amazing, amazing! Whoa! Whoa! Little rough, but one of the best rides here, definitely. Love that. Hot Devon Park, you can always enjoy the water zone over here at Flamingo Land. But personally, maybe I'm a bit too young, but it's not that hot today. And if you asked me two days ago, I'd already be running around with a camera in there. But at the moment, it is a bit too cold to be in the water zone and way too cold for that right there. Even though oh, I've got to say, it does look quite fun. So, possibly, possibly today, we might ride it. So, if you want us to ride it, like the video right, and, and next, next time we ride. I'm gonna host you all the ride. And next time we go, we're gonna ride that because that looks really fun. Or maybe you can stay. Maybe my turn that day and go. It's near the end of the day. Let's have a fun little ride on that attraction back there. Okay, look, it's Colossus. Yay! Oh, oh, Maverick. No, Maverick. Angles are Maverick because I've got some, but it, it's not gonna open in a while, is it? It won't open, I don't think. I predict it's gonna open 2024 or 2025. It doesn't look great. I mean, the ride is amazing, but yeah. Like I said, we went here when it last year basically and had a look at this ride and it's no different maybe there's a few little fences and dicks and all the stuff yeah, added like to it like down there the and there you go and then yeah, yeah some of the cobra it's also well. meant to be a path but mm -hmm. maybe it's going to be a path so hopefully when it does open we have that path but I will miss through this year possibly next year or even the year after I mean the thing is like, you've got, like, they've got to do testing everything like that until they have to open it so I mean testing takes about half a year I think so I don't know. Yeah, and if you look, if you look at the stage, there's not about any scenery. Why not that? Here it goes. Line, you can't even see it, but here goes Velocity on the launch of such an amazing ride. And they're getting their cameras to film this shoe off of Velocity. And it's just such a good ride. Like, possibly you will see me get my favourite ever ride in the world right here on Velocity. 
second ride of the day and I've been riding because I've my favourite or my second favourite ride in the UK. So let's see how it turns out, right? I'm so excited for this. I love this attraction. Okay, ready? Hands in the air, guys. Adam, Jane, hands in the air. Oh, and three, two, one. Ah! Definitely the best ride in the UK. We have just had a ride over on Velocity, then we had some lunch, and then we did a walkthrough. And you may not know what a walkthrough is on the channel, but what we like to do is we like to walk around the park and video the whole direction, the whole way, and everything that we do along the park. Because on these vlogs, as much as they're amazing, and you can see me, which obviously is fantastic, you don't really get to see a perspective of every single part of the park, like the boring paths and the animals that we want to show in this vlog. So on the walkthrough, you can see every single part of the park. So if you are coming here, or maybe recreating it or something like Planet Coaster, it is really useful for you to see what every single part of the park looks like. So the link for that will be up there if I can remember in editing nevertheless i highly recommend checking it out and yeah it's really, really good so make sure you look at that but jay did you enjoy your first ever walkthrough yeah i'm allowed to be silent yeah because we, we like to get the whole park atmosphere like i said there's no talking in it so again some people find it a bit boring some people are like what the hell is this but some people you just want to seal the slide move your way in vr you look really cool you can look around and stuff but Nevertheless, I highly recommend watching that video as well. Nevertheless, we are now sitting down here after having some amazing sandwiches and looking at the time because, as you may have guessed, it is quite busy today. So I do not know how much we can get done over the park, but hopefully we get done loads more attractions around here. One thing that I really did notice when doing this walk for over here today is how big the park really is. Because on our last visit we headed over here, we did not do anything past pretty much this path here. But down there there are pubs, rides, walkthroughs, animal encounters and so so much. I really think it's absolutely amazing. So if you do come over here, make sure to look at the map before you do go. Not miss out on other things that are actually really enjoyable. But as you can probably tell as well, the path is positioned into two areas. You've got the zoo this end and you've got the ride section this end. So if you want to head one or the other, you can always go there, but it's always nice as well to do a mix of them both. And of course, there's rides like a big water ride, which was testing. I don't know if it's going to open today or not. That ride right there it also goes in a mix of both, so you get a bit of animal encounters while being on the ride itself, which, in my opinion, is the best of a scenario. But so far today, we have done a lot, not a lot of rides, but my first opinions of it, because obviously last time I went here, it was one of my favourite theme parks, well, my favourite theme park in the UK. And from now on, this visit, it's been a bit too busy, but we haven't got amazing operations, like some rides have taken a bit too long to get onto, but the actual atmosphere and the feeling around the park is still really, really nice. And to relax here, as well as on a nice, exciting day, you can do a bit of both, to be honest with you, as it is a really, really nice park. However, I do have to say, at times, that the park hasn't really got the greatest soundtracks or music, stuff like that around the ride. So in the queue line, you need to have something else to entertain you as the park cannot offer that sort of feeling. Nevertheless, we are now heading over towards the Sea Lion Show, which last time we really did enjoy. So if we get in here right now, we'll show you some clips of the show. Now, this is Merlin, who's gonna do most of the showing off for us today. If you've been to the show before, you might have already met Merlin. He's been here quite some time. He joined us when he was 18 months old, and he turned 17 years of age last month. He was born in this country in a land called Longleat, but you normally find these sea lions along the west coastline of America. They're called California sea lions because there are a lot of them in California, but they're actually seen as far north as Canada, the Mexico. <laughs> when you guys are clapping, I'm often rewarding him at the same time. And he quickly made that link, so after a few times out here on the stage, he started to respond when he heard clapping. So that's another form of reward or positive reinforcement. So every time you clap, you're actually helping me to train him. So they can judge distance and speed. 
Now, occasionally, he misses a hoop. But if he misses a hoop or makes a mistake, we don't punish him. That's often how people think we train the animals. But if I was to punish him in any way, for any reason, he wouldn't trust me. And trust is very important. Now, you may notice he always has to look over his shoulder to check he's caught each hoop. Watch. There's always a little glance. We don't know why, because they've just gone over his head. But he likes to check. If he gets this, a big clap. You got the lot. The hoop catching, that's all about vision. But this is all to do with the whiskers. The whiskers can't hold the ball or move the ball, but they can feel the ball. And that's what he's learned to do. It took him years to get this good at balancing. Now! Oh, you can have a sea lion. Just like Lurley, he's been taught to open his mouth when we touch him on the chin, like that, say, ah, lovely. He's been taught to blow his nose. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. Blow. He also sticks his tongue out. Smile. There's his tongue up. <laughs> but that shows you just how sensitive those whiskers are. Marvin, that is exceptional. That is exceptional. Especially Marvin, because that's your target. Now, that is a big jump. He is a big sea lion. He's going to land in a big pool. Right, are you ready? Shall we give him a countdown? Three, two, one. Here he comes like a rocket. Oh, well, have a great time at Flamingo Land. From Marvin, Merlin and me, take care, stay safe. Bye bye for now. Thank you. I really like that show, honestly. I was watching it and I thought, I was, I thought well, it parked busy, so you might as well go and watch it because it's walking, you get to watch a nice show, and it's good footage as well because I decided to wipe this vlog will be a bit too short due to how busy it is over here today. But after watching it, I was actually shocked at how fun it was. Now, obviously, lots of shows are different. Now, some shows are just full entertainment, some shows are full education, but this show here is a bit, a bit different. It's like if you enjoy the education aspect, you can watch the show. If you enjoy the entertainment aspect you can also watch this show and it's really nice to be educated about the sea lions and some people aren't that educated that's why problems occur around the world so when I watch shows like that it really is great to help inform people about of course sea lions and how it works and yeah I was really really impressed another thing as well which I was worried about when I first came here last year and I know many of you might be worried about is how they treat animals over here at the park and to be honest they do treat them blimmin amazing like there's lots of space whoops, sorry, all around the park. The animals are all kept in nice areas and of course they are able to be seen and stuff but if they want to go away they've got like, little zones that they can be off and even the sea lions right there. There's not just that pool, we've also got lots of other pools around the whole resort which they can go in. So in terms of the animal welfare, really really impressive and I like as well how, as I said earlier, the park is different from where the animals are because that means that all the animals might not get distracted by all the rides and stuff that are going around and of course the only one being the water ride but that's not too loud to be honest with you I'm not gonna lie I really really want to do that right now and I asked it earlier we made a good day but the queue went too long and once we do the next few rides I think near the end of the day I might want to take a little soaking on that because that does look really really wet which on a day like today where it's boiling hot would be absolutely amazing but we're now heading over towards the drop tower. I've actually got the name of, but if I remember when I went here last minute, it was really good fun. However, I think that obviously there's more than one cycle on the tower itself. So, while well, I went last time, it obviously was quiet at the park, so it stopped at the top for longer. Well, now it's just more of a, just a bounce instead of a bounce, then top, then stop, and then drop, which was the part that I personally got scared of last time. So maybe it's a good thing, or maybe it's not, I don't know, but whatever it is, it's definitely a short tower, a cycle nowadays. But before that, me and Jen are going to sit down in the arcade. Now, you know us, we never go in arcades over here on Feet Rock Coast, and as we feel like with the whole park up there, so what I do was in an arcade when you're possibly over like 200 quid to get into the park today. Nevertheless, we are sitting here on this like, machine because it is hot out there, and Jay wants to eat his ice cream without any wasps nearby. Oh, there were like five columns. Yeah, there were a lot of wasps, there were a lot of wasps out there. So before we go on the camera, we're going to sit here, and my parents and Jay's parents are going to go into the spa. Now, what you may not realise is that down at the end of this park, there's like a caravan park thing, which is really, really awesome. So, at the caravan park, you can like, access the park, no like, tickets need to be shown, as long as you stay in there, I think you can get tickets. But, down over there as well, there's a little spa, and you can go out and go in as much as you wish, no like, tickets required. 
So, what we're going to do now, they're going down to the spa, grab them like snacks and drinks and like that, and they're going to come back here and give it to us, obviously, because we're thirsty right now. So that's another nice little tip for you guys if you don't want to be spending all of the prices for food in there, because that ice cream was like three quid, and the margin is probably really, really nice. You probably get a whole tub of ice cream in there for five or something like that. I don't really know, because they like ice cream. Talk about Christmas, what the hell is this, man? It's locked, guys. Look at that, mate. It's like a massive beat. Like, that's pretty scary. Are you ready, Jaden? Are you ready? We are over here on Cliffhanger and it's gonna launch in three, two, two. No, 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 three, two, eight, four, four and no! Oh, 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 so good, so good. Oh, I, gave, I made my headache work. <laughs> oh, what a view. Also, if you didn't know, there's a holiday uh, place down there, so you can always stay there. If you want to go to Mingaland for more than a day. In the last vlog, right, Mingaland, we went, I thought you were out of Johnson's park. It was important information, it was important information, Jay. It was important information. Oh, that's good. Cliffhanger done. Now onto a ride that I wanted to do for the last, well, it must have been five or six years since I heard about it. This is the water ride over at Flamingo Land and it looks mental. You go around the animals, you go on the tidal wave at Fort Park Star Drop and it just looks absolutely awesome. And also what's best about it is I can take you along for a ride and we're going to be heading on to this ride here eventually. Uncle Ross, this way, very, very shortly. But the queue looks quite long, but honestly, why wouldn't it be? It's a water ride and a nice sunny day, and we're all going to take you along for our first time reaction on the attraction. Well, knowing our luck, that ride has just broke down, and to be honest, I'm kind of gutted. Like I said, that was, that was earlier, that was the one ride that I kind of really wanted to do it across the years, but we went over here towards Flamingo Land, and it's the one ride I looked at it when I was younger, I've looked at it now, and I've always wanted to head on to it because I just love the aspect of going around the animals so not going to today i'm a little bit gutted and as we live like five or six hours away from this park it's not like i can return next year well probably maybe next year i don't know but it's unlikely to be able to return next year because i've got a big trip coming out so staging to that but or even the year after we don't really know to be honest with you so it is a bit annoying that i can do one ride and it's a pop at all the park possibly velocity may have wanted to do more but this is definitely in the contenders of rides that i wanted to do over the park just in general so that is a little bit annoying but i had to break down on the day of opening because it wasn't actually open i think for the whole of last year so this was the day it's actually like a soft opening for this ride you know it's not really an opening day it's just open from when it's been closed so long so i got really excited and now as it's closing at four o'clock which apart didn't even close until seven o'clock i think it's just a bit nasty honestly i'm a bit Unimpressed with this, and I know I love Flamingo Land, it's one of my favourite parks in the UK. But not to be able to do this ride has, I want to say, it's kind of put a bit of a down spot on my day because it's one ride I really want to do, and I didn't mind waiting long queues for everything else over here at the park like half an hour to an hour queues for rides over here. With their operations only putting like one car on a train, I didn't mind because I knew I could get on this one. But now I can get on this one, headset, I'm just a little bit disappointed. Back row ride over water velocity. Me and James first time on the back. I wonder how gonna be. Here we go, Jaden. Oh, look at this. I love the air time on this. Here oh, we go. Five, yeah, by far. Okay, here we go. Back row. I'm gonna get Jaden on the launch. Get Jaden on the launch. Ready to ride your motorbike. Have a coma boat to ride coaster. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Wow, is the only word to describe it. It was absolutely amazing. And back row, I swear sometimes, back row is absolutely phenomenal. Like, I swear, like the big one, 
get back on some rides, like some of very fun, like Nemesis and all that, where you can't see in front of you, but if you can get a ride, you can see in front of you, back row, you can get you some massive amounts of time, and then have that last bit, which normally is just like a little ending, like normally the last bit of a ride, and Vlosti is just like, yeah. hey ho, it's just a little bump, but at the end, it's like, whoa, yeah. and it, that's crazy, but Jaden said to me, he's being nice, he's gonna dare the swing, and now you've never done a ride like this before, or are you going on the train? <laughs> There's not my lane, Dan. What can I for track, Jane? Jane's not oh, in danger. No, no, no. Oh, well, I'll be survived. But, Ow. yeah, are you Ow. nervous? Yes, look at that thing. Yeah. What is holding? I, 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 even I'm a little bit nervous about this one. Like I said, I've done one of these before. Oh, I don't think I've done one higher than this. But, yeah, no one knows walk on, Jane. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> God. Here we are. Up on the flyer thing, and then hi, Jaden. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that view! Oh, amazing! How do you feel? Windy, very windy. Well, yeah, you're awesome. Oh, Look down! I'm all. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you should definitely do this, it's so much fun. But again, if you're scared of heights, I probably won't recommend it. And of course, if you're scared of having oh a Oh my god! god. Ah. <laughs> <Do not. laughs> there you go, hands your hands up. Ah. Yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go. Look down. Oh. Ah. You're very brave, Jen, you're very brave. We're going down, we're not even going down yet. I was doing for the other car. Oh. It's definitely a high one. This is this is this is one foot higher than the tallest one we've ever done. So you've got a new record over here from England. Two so, are going down. It's just oh, the oh, one of you. Oh, you go down now. Oh, yeah. 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 Go. See, after doing this, doing you park things will feel like nothing. Oh. Say, wait till I do. Oh, it was in the tree. Wait till I do monkey tree. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Woo. Hello. Oh, that's so good. That was so good fun. Will you do it again? Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. All we need now is the star flow of Orlando, only 450 feet. Worth it. Have fun! Have fun! It's already high enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even halfway yet. Right now you are. So it's one's on the skyscraper, so it goes down. Please remain seated until the ride comes to a full and complete stop. Please remain seated. After one last amazing ride over on that attraction over there, which Jaden very bravely did, I don't know if you can see the reaction to the top of there, but he was scared. I don't know if you can see the to Tom, you're going to add it in. Oh yeah, like, I, I don't know if you can see it. Well, you could see the reaction to the top of there, because I'm going to go for it, but I found it hard to get started, that's why we had to start halfway up. But that was great, I loved that. And like all, we had an amazing day at Flamingo Land. And before we came, I'm going to start off with Adam. You thought that this was one of the fair parts in the UK. What do you think of it now? Um, yeah, it's a pretty good park. Like, I've done quite a lot today. I had three rides on Velocity Jets, and that was actually really good. I just think, though, that every single coaster here whacks your head or shoulders or some sort of part of your body. It just, everything's really rough here. And how do you whack your head? Well, I mean, that's my only problem with this park. Like, I like it a lot, and there's bits and bits in this park, so... I mean, I mean, genuinely honest here, operators are awful, and I'm sorry, you need to just start improving that. On Mumbo Jumbo, I think you have like eight or nine trains, also, yeah. they're running two, and it's a bit shameful about that. But overall, the park looks alright. It's, I mean, I've had a really good day today, but I'm not sure if that's how many rides I've got on. And from what I saw, the staff were nice, I don't have any complaints about the staff, they're really nice actually. We didn't come across any bad staff. 
And overall, it's been a pretty good day. Yeah, and also when you leave, really, it's such a cool skyline view across the park. Yeah, it's, so it's good for us. We we had we have what's it called a photo last time we were here, but yeah, we we we've had it there before, so hopefully we've another one for the today vlog. Mm. And is it actually quite sorry? It's actually quite interesting that Kamali's testing right now. Don't know if that's for tomorrow because it did actually just break down quite a while ago, about an hour ago, up two hours ago. So maybe they're just in the test for the morning. I don't know, but. Yeah, anyway, it's been a nice We're day. coming up towards Jaden's car right now, so I'm going to ask Jaden, how was your day been? I was say, at least this time you remembered. Yeah, La last time last we forgot. Vlog. You had to like blur my number plate and everything. Kids so, what car is um, Jaden in? Pick a car, pick a car, ready car. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's that Range Rover here in Brown. Anyway, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, it's amazing. I love, I love the day. Uh, the, the red, that ride, whatever it's going to be called, Fleming. So yes, uh, yeah, stand. that's still not open. Don't think it will. Uh, no. Velocity and Hopefully Mitty, I've got the two rides in it, one front, one back, bro. Uh, Hero I never did, didn't do Kamali. Swing ride was scary. Uh, Mumbo Jumbo was rough. Velocity was amazing. Yeah, and actually, we'll have one go for yes. When do you think that each of these rides are going to open? So we're going to flip Flamingo. Colossus ride over there. Yeah. When do you think it's gonna open? Oh, oh, realistic gas. I'm gonna say 2023. Um, I'm gonna say 2024, maybe in the 2025 season. And Jane? Uh, uh, 2022? I think it will either be late 2022 or early 2023. Okay, one of us is going to be right, so yeah, I mean, we're going to find out who's right. So subscribe if you want to know if we're right. It might not even open. It might not even open. So one more thing quickly, I did actually do cliffhanger today and that is actually the best ride at the park. So if we're wondering what the best ride at the park is, do you imagine to do cliffhanger? It is quite tall, but it's actually really good fun. You get some nice views, yeah. air time. If you're an air time lover, you're going to love it. And I think that's a good all opinions, obviously, but yeah, park's it's amazing. Great. It's lovely to relax. It's nice to have families nice out. The whole park. You don't need to go, oh, there's A-Rap. You don't know what I'm going to say. And like, it's lovely to just chill out a little bit. You don't need to rush around with some park. It's a really big park. But really it was also really nice. We're going to have to walk around it today. I definitely yeah. recommend, even if you're not filming a walk through the day, just to walk through at the start of the day. I'll take this up my own thing here because yeah. there's even like a little pub down there, which next time I'm going to eat at. It's really like, nice. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. and we've even on the walk through, missed out a bit of a section like around the woods area, which I thought we could have done. It was on my map, but I couldn't find it because I've never been here before. So my walk through is a bit like over the place, but it's really good and it changes around. So let's check it out. But yeah, great day today, Frankie's always am. Now. And that's on Frankie Benny's. And also, if you didn't know, we are on a Benny's Yorkshire nice. road trip, which means we have Blackpool, Biff, and then finally Autumn Towers. We're spending the week all up here together. And we're over like two at, days just in Yorkshire. Yeah, two days just in like Yorkshire. We'll talk about it in a bit. But it's, it's been a lovely trip so far. We've had a nice house, and everything's just been absolutely amazing. But that is it from me, Son Derek, from Theme Park Coasting. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.